History had always tried to indicate that to err is human and to forgive is divine. But that's simply not true. Air is not made purely of humanity. It is made of conscious. The moment one is open to more complex thought, they become open to ignorance, corruption, and faith. Forgiveness is, likewise, not an attribute of the divine. It is an attribute of the faithful or the comfortable. It is either given by those with enough faith in the recipients or by those who feel that nothing will be lost in the event that their leniency is taken advantage of. These ideals were on direct display every time human civilization decided to conclude their conflicts with war. It may have seemed like a safe bet to assume a new way of approaching mortality would come about after humanity was wiped out by their own vices during World War III, but nothing is ever that easy. Pretty scary, don't you think? Psh, you faced a lot worse than an armored balloon. Could be a bit scary to wonder why he ended up here on his own, though. Could be a million reasons, but... No, no. I mean, I just popped that balloon, and for a moment, I didn't feel anything. What if we reach a point where we stop feeling anything when we pop a balloon? Look, maybe I'm the wrong person to ask about this. I get what you mean, but we also have very different views on the balloons. So you don't feel anything for the balloons you pop? If I felt something for every balloon I popped, I'd probably go insane. Kind of like what you're doing right now. I'd say I'd gone insane if I stopped caring. Look, Donovan, I care. I really do. And I know it can be tough, but I don't think I'm the right guy to get advice from on this. You're right, you're right. I guess I'm just trying to make a little bit of conversation. Pretty bleak conversationalist. Maybe so. Look, if you wouldn't mind indulging me, how do you deal with some of the things that we have to do? How about you tell me why you joined the Dark Forces if you're so against popping, and I'll let you into some of my great secrets. I'm not opposed to popping. And I'm passionate about opposing the balloon leaders. I'm just a bit scared what it eventually might do to me. Then why didn't you join a support branch? Uh, an alchemy medic or an engineer or something. Might have been a bit easier on you, don't you think? My dad was a crossbow master. And he was pretty influential on me. Your dad was a crossbow master? That's pretty badass. Yeah. Well, what happened to him? I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Well, to hold up my end of the bargain, I think about it logically. We don't invade any balloon territory they didn't split with us before they flipped the switch on everyone. They try to take more from us, and I defend. One of the reasons that I became an engineer is that I'm usually just setting up defenses in territory we already have. If I popped a balloon, it most likely means it was someone who supports the balloon leaders and has intent to harm or steal from us. That makes sense and all, but do you really not think about some of these things? Even just a little? Sure, here and there, but I try to look at the bigger picture. Do you think it'll ever be like it was before? If I'm being honest, no. But if there's a chance, then there's a fight in me. You're a lot more optimistic than you make yourself seem. I've gone that a few times. 
You're a lot. There's a ZOMG approaching. Damn it. What? Eli, do you have that spike factory back up in order yet? I've got it working, but not nearly to full capacity. Then keep on it. We don't have a lot of time. I'll try to keep it back as long as I can. Yes, sir. Damn it! Human kind. Monkey kind. Balloon kind. Whatever comes after. There will always come about hierarchy and a struggle for power. Because to err is not human. To err is to live. And to forgive is foolish.